This is like the same time I'm trying to do this. Welcome back to my channel. So if you've been following along with my weekly vlogs, uh, you may know that every so often for school I have to leave my house to go to San Fernando General Hospital and for that period of time, well for those periods of time, I will usually stay in the student accommodation that's on the same compound. So in doing that throughout my year for rotation I've done it about three times, I've come to realize, come to the realization, you know gathered a few tips or whatever that I feel like I want to share with you guys whether you are in Trinidad and you're going to UE, you're going, you're doing medicine and, and you have to do your year for year for every rotations where you have to be at the different hospitals or you're in some other situation that you have a short term move out from your home. Um, in my case usually I would move out pretty month um, or less depending on the situation. So let's just get straight into it. First of all, I would say that you actually need to make sure that you really need to move. It's kind of dependent to me on two things, the your financial situation as well as the actual necessity. The student accommodation here is $400 per week. So if I move out for the month, it's $1,600. So if I can't really afford that for the month then, I need to figure out if I really have to make that sacrifice to pay out the $1,600 or we could work another way around it which brings me to the necessity part it depends on what else you have going on in your life so for me around my carnival time i had rehearsals a few days throughout the week leading up to carnival monday and tuesday which is our performance days so i really had to make it to those rehearsals so for me for the first two weeks it didn't really make sense me paying 400 dollars to stay down south because i had to be up in town to go to rehearsals and by the time rehearsals were done it would be late at night so for me at the point in time it just made sense for me to you know be tired but drive down south every morning and come back up for rehearsals as well as we had the last day of junior week so it, it didn't really make sense for me to pay 400 for that week and then the second week it was kind of on monday and tuesday and we weren't going to go to school on the wednesday so it's just thursday and friday so to pay 400 dollars for a week but i'm really only staying down there for two days like it really didn't make sense for me so for that month I ended up actually just paying for one week because for the last week of that rotation um, was my exam week so we actually didn't go to the hospital at that point in time so yeah so you need to just really make sure that you actually you can afford it to move out as well as you actually really need to move out so second once you've decided that you, you really need to go um, the next thing is packing. Pack your basic necessities because you don't want to move out your whole life from your house So I have to try to fit it into a room that you might just actually have to share with somebody else or a living situation where you have to share Period and then also you're gonna have to bring all that back as well So you want to take your bare necessities the things you need to use every day so your toiletries, toothbrush, toothpaste um, so toilet paper, towels, no, things like that. And for me, like when I'm packing my clothes, ain't nobody walking with the whole closet. So I take clothes that I know that I'm gonna need. So I'll take a shirt per day to wear to the hospital. Um, sleeping clothes, numbered underwear. Yeah, and then like some home chill clothes. I'm not gonna pack any pair of jeans or whatever because I don't really expect to go out. That's my purpose of me moving out. I'm not going out as well as. If I do need to go to like the mall or the grocery for anything, just in case, I could just wear my normal work clothes, school clothes to go. And then also you want to carry whatever else you might need, so like your books, your laptop, whatever. You know, you have to carry what you're going to need, but things that you can't do without, try to leave behind. Also another tip that I found out in retrospect is to try best to take things in containers. So for me, like my clothes. And everything that could fit in my suitcase went in the suitcase but like my groceries my um utensils like my pot and and, and bowls and plates and cup and everything but i only took one bowl one plate like two containers to hold food that was cooked um yeah i learned in retrospect that i should have put those things in a container because it would have made it much more easier to tra to transport it from the car up to the room the next thing is food um 
you don't have anybody to cook for you. Um, if you're lucky enough to have your parents make food for you before you leave so that you could pack it, freeze it and, and carry it down and then just like defrost and reheat every day, that would be cool for you. But in my situation, um, I just really needed chicken from home. I don't know if I mentioned it. If I went down for the entire month, I would usually come back home on the weekend so I could refresh on the weekend. So once mommy cook on Sunday, I will take chicken for the week. And I'll limit myself to like I can't be greedy, greedy, greedy Susan. So I'll take a piece of chicken per day. So that's five pieces of chicken, and then I would make whatever I need. So like my normal is either potatoes, rice, or spaghetti, and I just need butter, bread, and cheese. And I will mix and like the pack seasonings. I don't have any right here to show you, but pack seasonings is the life. They have garlic and parsley, um, paprika, cayenne. Um, Cajun, you just buy a few of those and not to spice up any meal. You just have some plain boiled potatoes, shake, 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 you're done. Meal fix. So, yeah, you want to just carry easy to make food, or if you're lucky enough, have food pre prepared so that it's just a matter of heating it up so you can eat it. So, next, a uh, uh, two time saving once, one all, uh, but I learned that making breakfast at night was a great way to save time in the morning so I would make my breakfast at night so that by the time I wake up in the morning I could get more sleep because I mean you're moving out for a purpose me I was moving out because I'm going to school and at that point in time you know you're supposed to be studying and all that so the evening time after finishing the hospital or whatever come home eat a little something rest a little bit study so I used to be studying at least up to 12 or if I, if I catch up after, a little bit after 12. So by the time I go to sleep, I tired and I just want to get as much sleep as possible. So in one of the breaks the evening before, I would make my breakfast, whether it be a tuna sandwich or whatever, and just foil, pack it up in foil so that in the morning when I wake up half an hour before the time that I need to be on the ward, I could just pull out the sandwich, eat that real quick and you know, brush my teeth on coffee. And this last step. Uh, well it's too much in addition to I mean it depends on the person if you're a 100% clean freak meat freak then this one may not work for you but it really doesn't matter to me I don't care it really doesn't matter but I would more likely just bathe in the night and not bathe in the morning that also helps to save time again it may not be for everybody but it worked for me i'm um, especially if you're going to bed late 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 at night and i'm sleeping in ac nobody's sweating like what's the what's the real purpose what's the real point of having to bathe again five hours later like we go through entire days without it's not that necessary okay if you think it's necessary do you but i don't need to so i used to bathe at night so by the time I wake up in the morning, it's just to pull out, like I said, pull out my breakfast, eat that up, brush my teeth, change my underwear, change my clothes, and go. You could judge me if you want. I don't really care. It helped me save time. I got more sleep. You can wake up earlier if you want to. I just know I got more sleep than you. Another tip as well is to try your best to use the bathroom during the day. So if you have early days. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, in my situation, it was a shared bathroom thing. So you walk in, there's a sink, and then there's two more doors, one for the shower and one for the toilet. Ideally, if you're using the shower, you'll leave the front door open so somebody else could use the toilet or, some, or use the sink. Me? No. Once I'm in there and I'm in either one of the toilets or the, the shower, the front door is closed and locked. Everybody has normal bodily functions and I don't really like people around like I lose I need to concentrate I don't know about you, but I need to concentrate when things are going down in the bathroom <laughs> So the best time for me in that situation is During the day when most people are out and still doing things like still on your walls or whatever I find it much easier to go during the day when the place is kind of empty so you know for sure nobody's gonna come knock knock knocking on the door to use the bathroom or who knows who might be next door hearing you or whatever 
because in my situation a lot of people are leaving around the same time so if I try to do that in the morning everybody is trying to use the bathroom no bueno no. not happening so like I said my best time to use the, the bathroom will be during the day when most people are out or if you're up late at night because when you're studying you could try using it later at night as well I feel like I feel like if some people would still be up because it's the student accommodation for medical students so people would still be studying up late but I mean it depends on your situation back to the point about bathing at night especially if it's late most people would have bathed already so you just have more time and more freedom to be able to take a nice longer shower without you know worrying about people coming to use the bathroom because they've used it already so yeah those are my few tips tricks um i mean i hope they were helpful for you it's just me trying to share my experience with you guys um if you're gonna be in the same kind of situation where you have to move out short term yeah i hope you enjoyed the video hope it was helpful if it was go ahead and click the like button down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to why do you want this? Thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.